Alright, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Naver application. And in this video, we'll be working on building the cool features for swaying the progress bar while uploading the user image. So first of all, let me give you the demo of what we are going to build so that you will get some idea. And if I click on browse and select this image, and you will see the progress bar, but we are we are too fast. So let me pretend that we are on slow internet connections so let me do first crazy and then let me add new user and if i go over let me if i do the browse and select this particular image and the we will see the progress bar and after the image is uploaded to the server we see this image preview see how cool is this so we'll be completely building this with liveware and also we'll be using some uh, alpine js as well for like for swaying the progress bar and listening to the liveware events that it fires while uploading the image so let's get started on building this feature okay first of all let's add progress bar after this file input over here so let me go to admin lt and on you will find on ui elements generals and here is the design for progress bar so let me inspect it and grab the code from here okay this one let me let me copy it and then let me go to list users list users and up to the file input so let me find for a file and then after this one right we'll display the progress bar let's indent it and let's see on the browser and we see the progress bar so let's do some styling okay so let's make this progress bar a little bit smaller so progress sm and let's give the margin top of two let's say margin top two and let's make this rounded as well so rounded rounded corner yeah perfect so now if we increase the width so let's say to 60 or let's say to 80 then it will get in increased right so we'll we need to make this dynamic while uploading the image so for swing and hiding the progress bar we'll be using alpine.js so let's install alpine.js using cdn to our project so let me grab this and let me go to main app.blade.php which is inside of resources views layouts app and over here let me paste it and then let me refresh the page okay fine and like alpine.js is installed so to verify let me wrap this input with div so let's wrap this one with the main div and and let's indent it okay let's initialize this as a component using x data and let's say on x init let's do a lot alpine yes and we see it perfect so let me remove this for now and uh, while initializing the component we can define the data as well so let's do without set let's do is uploading uploading as false by default let's make is uploading as false okay so 
over here let's show this div if the uploading is true okay to do that we can do do simply x so so this div if the uploading is true okay if uploading is uploading is true so now if i refresh the page and we don't see that progress bar but if we make this as true then we will see that progress bar perfect so now the remaining thing is to listen uh, to the events that liveware fires while uploading the image right while uploading any file so let's do that part and uh, one more thing let's we'll be making this uh, dynamic so let's use another property let's say pro progress and let's make it as zero so we'll be increasing over here so let's make this style is dynamic as well so to do that we can do x bind style and then let's wrap this with backtick let's say with backtick and then we can simply do width and the value is we can grab the value from progress okay so now let's see on the browser and the percent is percentage as well okay so let me refresh it and then we see it in zero and if we increase this let's say to 10 percent and we see this perfect so now let's listen to the live wire events so let me enter over here let's indent it properly and then x on let's live wire fires different events so we can listen to that events using alpine.js using this directory called x on and the name of the event and the name of the event is liveware upload start okay while the upload upload is started uh, we can do is uploading as true we can set is uploading as true and x on liveware upload if the upload is finished we can set is uploading to false okay and then x on liveware upload if there is any error on the upload then also we will set is uploading as false and then x on the main thing is liveware upload progress and while there is on progress it fires the progress event as well so we'll set the progress value so the progress value we can set using progress equals to event the detail detail dot progress okay so now let's try this let's try this okay let me refresh it and then let me add new user okay let's make this as zero by default and then we'll not show the progress as well so we'll not show the progress yes let's make this as false and then let me inspect it and let's pretend that we are on slow internet connections and then let me browse and select the image and we see the progress bar see how cool this is okay now let's work on some design improvements and let's make it more intuitive so now let me show you one thing if i click on add new user let me do slow easy and then let me browse one image and you see here we don't see the instant feedback because it is taking some time to start the progress right so let's make it more intuitive by making 
by starting the progress from five so that user will get the instant feedback so let me refresh the it again and show you let's say now let's do slow 3c browse it and then select the image yes we see this instant feedback user notice that it is already started okay so let me show you one another issue so we uploaded the image and if we browse the image again and we see this progress already 100 percent and seems weird so i noticed one thing that we forgot is to set the progress back to five after the upload is finished so to do that we need to do a semicolon over here and we can set the progress to five okay so now let me do not 14 refresh the page again say slow 3g and then browse it and we see this okay and if i browse and select another image and again it is started to with five over here five percent profit so now uh, the remaining thing is to hide this progress bar with some kind of transition okay so to do that we can simply add axo with the transition transition okay now let's try this again let's say not throttling refresh it and then add new user let's say fast freezy and then browse the image and it got hide with some kind of animation and which seems little bit good to the user as well so instead of displaying the final thing instead of displaying the image over here let's display it over here and let's make it bigger as well okay to do that let me copy everything from here and then remove it after let's display it over here custom file custom file from group I display it over here so let's see how it will look let me close this one select the image and we see the image over here so let's make it bigger let's say instead of image circle let's remove it okay and then let's do margin instead of margin bottom let's do margin top let's remove this style as well this one as well let's remove image circle as well and let's me try it add new user browse it and we see this too big so we need to make width is 100 percent with 100 let's do with 100 over here press it that's right and it is looking good right so let's see on slow internet connections so let me do a network tab over here say fast 3g add new user browse the image and we see the progress bar after the image is uploaded we see the image preview see how cool this is so this was for this video so i hope you like the video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video